Okay, so we're on page two. Let's have a look at some background information. So it says Blood Brothers is set in Liverpool and Skelmersdale. Act one takes place in, in Liverpool and Act two takes place in Skelmersdale. It's a town in the north east of the city and here are the key locations in the play. So if we look here, this is our um, map of the United Kingdom and in the northwest of England um, we have Liverpool. <coughs> so here we've got Liverpool and just outside of it is Skelmersdale. Okay. So this is Liverpool in Act 1 and this is just a basic map. So you've got the city here and there is a prison and there is a park and if we look down here we've got Mrs Johnstone's house and if you can look really carefully if you have got um, the book if you look really carefully you'll notice that there is um, lots of houses together so these are terraced houses there's cracks in the walls and they look a really run down this one here has got no window okay um so this is bound to be something like really overcrowded and um, really large families um families with maybe seven eight nine ten children and then over here we've got the lions's house now this is very different because if you look here we've got a big gate and they've got a nice driveway and a lovely massive house in green space with lots of trees around them so this looks very very grand it's, very, it's a very, very wealthy area um, where the Lionses live. Very different to where the Johnstons live. And when we look at Skelmersdale, we've got more terraced houses, but these are newer ones. If you look carefully, they've got flat roofs. It's just the, it's the, the design of the houses that they had back then in the, in the early 1980s. And this is where Mrs. Johnstone lives. So she, again, she's she's gone from a very run-down area, overcrowded area, to a new overcrowded area. So even though she's done better, the number of people per um, square mile is probably around about the same. So you've got Mrs. Johnstone's house here, and you've got Mickey and Linda's new house here. So. Mickey and Linda are, are in the same lower class or working class as Mrs Johnstone still. And then you've got the filling station um, and that's on because um, that's where the robbery was with Sammy. You've got the council building where um, Edward works. And Skelmersdale, if you notice, it's got lots of green space. So what they did was they found lots of countryside and they started to build a new town. And the Lions' house, even though they're still in Skelmersdale, they've still got um, a nice big house in the countryside. So there's still lots of trees. It's a very grand house. If you look here, these are all um, flat roofs, um, very, very small and cramped together. But here, Mrs. and Mr. Lions have got um, a lovely large garden area as well. So <clears throat> both locations are home to middle class and working class people. Um, so Liverpool and Skelmersdale both have working class and middle class areas. Okay, so this is the type of front of what kind of um, house Mr and Mrs Lyons would likely be living in. They would likely have a car, they could afford to um, employ a cleaner, etc. Um, so even though they're in the same area, the, the, the area is split still into poor and, um, and wealthier areas. So in Liverpool, there is a lot of poor quality housing for the working classes, often close to the docks or factories where they worked. And the reason for that is because very often they didn't, they couldn't afford um, their own car. So they had to be within walking distance of where they worked or within a, a bus drive. OK, so the middle classes lived in more affluent parts of the city with plenty of green space. And you might have done something like this in geography, looking at um, different parts of a city and which ones are more affluent. And affluent means that there is more money um, being earned in an area. And so those people can afford um, better things because they've got more um, disposable income. Now it says that Skelmersdale was a new town 
see page eight we'll have a look at that later and many working class liverpool residents were rehoused there in the 1960s so it wasn't their choice it was the the council's choice so if they were renting council property and the council decided that because your house is too run down to live in they would bulldoze it and um, move you somewhere else so they didn't have a choice so they were rehoused in this new town that they'd built in the 1960s to, to um, a town like Skelmersdale now there were already people living in Skelmersdale including the middle class families so it that would suggest that um, it was started to be built for middle class families with bigger houses and then of course by the time these old houses um, were, run, were so run down that were unlivable then they had to find somewhere else to live so it, that suggests that these bigger affluent houses were built first and then they needed somewhere else to rehouse um, the uh, the working class so they built extra council houses um, in that town as well <laughs> 